हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर प्रशांत शर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग मेडिकोज हब इन दिस वीडियो ऑन रीनल सिस्टम आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रेगुलेशन ऑफ आरबीएफ दैट इज रीनल ब्लड फ्लो नाउ फर्स्ट वन इज न्यूरल फैक्टर्स दैट रेगुलेट द आरबीएफ कंडीशंस लाइक एक्सरसाइज cold anesthesia pain and hemorrhage these conditions stimulate the renal sympathetic fibers and when such fibers are stimulated vessel constriction occurs and this vessel constriction will result in decrease in rbf another important thing is that the activation of renal sympathetic fibers is stimulate the renin angiotensin system which result in formation of angiotensin 2 which further result in vessel constriction resulting in further decrease in rbf but important thing is that the activation of sympathetic fibers renal sympathetic fibers also promote the synthesis of prostaglandin e2 and prostaglandin i2 even angiotensin 2 also promote the synthesis of these prostaglandins these result in vasodilatation and finally resulting in increase in rbf so on one side rbf is decreasing on another side rbf is increasing final outcome is that there is no significant change in rbf so until and unless the sympathetic stimulation is prolonged and very intense there is no significant effect on rbf and if such stimulation continues for a long time of it is prolonged then renal shutdown may also occur so this is the effect of neural factors now second is hormonal factors we will divide the hormonal factors into two categories those causing vasoconstrictor or vasoconstriction and those causing vasodilation so here vasodilators we should know that vasoconstrictor will decrease the rbf and vasodilator will increase the rbf now here is the list of vasoconstrictors thromboxane a2 then endothelin epinephrine then nor epinephrine then adenosine these are a1 receptors then adh here histamine dopamine kinin prostaglandin e2 and i2 then endothelin derived relaxing factor then adenosine that is a2 receptor then 
ACH that is acetylcholine and adrenal natriuretic factor here A2 can also be added that is angiotensin 2 so these are the hormonal factors the third factor is local factors which are produced as metabolites for example adenosine it is vasoconstrictor and will result in decrease in rbf then co2 and prostaglandins like pg e2 and pg i2 these will cause vasodilation and will result in increase in rbf thereafter there is also another factor which is very important that is auto regulation now we'll discuss the auto regulation now the auto regulation which is the fourth factor there are two mechanisms under this heading first is myogenic regulation of rbf and another is tubuloglomerular feedback now how these work it has been observed that if we draw a graph here this is mean arterial pressure in millimeter of mercury this is 80 this is 180 millimeter of mercury and here rbf is there then it has been observed that with increase in map rbf also increases but between 80 to 180 millimeter of mercury rbf remains constant this is what we say by myogenic regulation how this myogenic regulation of rbf occur when rbf increases then blood pressure also increases the wall of afferent arteriole stretch because of which some cation channels open this result in depolarization and finally the voltage gated calcium channels on a smooth muscle open these smooth muscles are found in afferent arteriole and because of this vasoconstriction occurs in afferent arteriole because of which rbf finally decreases now there is another mechanism that is tubuloglomerular feedback how it works it has been observed that again we are taking map that is mean arterial pressure in millimeter mercury this is 80 this is 180 and here it is gfr 100 200 300 this gfr is in ml per minute this is gfr in ml per minute Now it has been observed that 
with increase in mean arterial pressure the GFR also increases but it remains constant between 80 and 180 millimeter of mercury now what is the mechanism behind when the mean arterial pressure increases then GFR also increases and amount of fluid in tubules also increase and increase in NACL is sensed by the macula densa macula densa is found in nephric tubules and it gives a feedback to the glomerulus this is known as the feedback from tubule to glomerulus that's why it is tubulo glomerular feedback and this result in vasoconstriction in afferent arteriole because of which RBF decreases and as a result of this the GFR also decreases so this is about regulation of renal blood flow hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications